Hey guys, welcome back to Bushcraft Nick. I am Nick, and in this video I'll be sharing my thoughts with you guys on the Browning Strikeforce Trail Camera Apex. After two years of owning it, little preface, this is not an in-depth review at all. I actually posted that two years ago, so the link will be in the description and the iCard above. This is my thoughts after two years. If I were you guys, I would watch the first one, see the uh, ins and outs of this camera, everything it has to offer, all the details, the specs and everything. But this is just my opinion. Not really much details, just what's going on with this camera. Little quick note before I start, I'm not sponsored by Browning at all. This is my own opinion. So everything I'm saying is my real opinion about it. So I had this, this camera for two years, and honestly, I, this is the best trail camera I've ever owned. I do own multiple Brownings, I own a Scout Tech, and before that I've owned just those cheap like $40 trail cameras off of Amazon. And this is by far the best camera I've had. This is my most reliable. The battery life, I have to change it maybe two to three times a year, if that. So depending on the weather conditions and everything, the battery can last you all year. You might only have to change the battery twice a year, which is amazing if you don't live close to the camera and you're setting it out in the woods for months at a time and you really should have nothing to worry about. Also, I have multiple other Browning trail cameras and I'm gonna be posting the same type of reviews as I am now. So as you can see in these videos, the uh, day videos are perfect. They're nice, you could set however long you want. There's really nothing to complain about in them. So the camera itself is insanely reliable. Like I said, the battery life is amazing. The day videos are perfect. They're crystal clear, as clear as you'll get with this camera. Night videos, sometimes two seconds long, sometimes the, the length you want. So that's my only real issue with this camera. Sometimes the length of night videos aren't, the, uh, aren't what you desired, but there's a setting that you could change the uh, flash range, and I think that has to do with it. Also, it depends on the batteries. If it's fully charged, they tend to uh, not make mistakes at night. The brand itself is insanely quality. You're paying for what you get. You're paying about $120 per, well, uh, this specific camera I got for 100, but it's around that price point. And really, if you're worried about price, I haven't tested out all the, like, the really cheap ones on Amazon. I'm sure some are good, but this, after two years now, no problem at all. So I would definitely purchase this again, and I do have four other Browning cameras. I would strongly recommend this camera to anyone that's looking for a bushcraft camera. After two years, the only complaint I have is that two second night video, and really, it doesn't happen that often. So honestly, after owning this camera for two years, I've had zero problems. The problems with the night videos, which I keep, I keep going back to it, but that's really the only problem. Battery life is amazing. The internals are amazing. It's so simple, the buttons respond quickly. I really don't have any complaints besides the uh, two second long night clips. It's a sleek design, it blends well with trees, and unless you're really looking for a camera, you're not gonna see it if you're using this for security in the woods. I've had multiple people walk, walk by this trail because there's a property behind the house that does uh, Airbnb. So those people sometimes walk on this property without knowing. They don't see the camera once. It's a perfect security camera in the woods. It's a perfect all around camera, and I strongly suggest that you pick one of these up so the link to this is in the description. If you want to watch a full review of the insides of this and everything, you can do so by pressing the i card. And that has been it. I'm Bushcraft Nick. Thank you for stopping by this video. I hope you enjoyed my little updater update review on this trail camera. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.